Hello, my name is Anthony Noah and I'm going to present our audit of patient satisfaction of Eurodynamics across multiple UK centres. To start things off, I have nothing to disclose. Eurodynamics is a broad term which covers non-invasive procedures all the way to video system metrograms. In our study, we focused on invasive Eurodynamics. These may cause anxiety and embarrassment to patients and may act as a barrier to the patient's agreement to having these tests. The British Association of Urological Surgeons section of female neurological and urodynamic urology set the following standards for patients undergoing urodynamics. Patient satisfaction should be greater than 60%. More than 60% of patients should be willing to have the test again if clinically necessary. Ideally, we should aim for anxiety rates to be less than 50% of the maximum number on a numerical scale rating. Our study design was a multi-center prospective audit of patient satisfaction. Patients were asked to complete a satisfaction questionnaire immediately after their procedure. We collated patient demographics, symptoms, and patient reported measures including anxiety levels and embarrassment. This is an example of what our questionnaire looked like. Patients self-completed the questionnaire, however staff were on hand to help if they had any difficulties with the form. In total, we collected data from 104 patients across seven institutions in various cities in the United Kingdom. The average age of patients was 55 with a median age of 59 years. The male to female ratio was approximately 50-50. This table summarizes patient symptoms. Across the x-axis are the symptom complexes and the y-axis represents the total number of patients, but not the percentages. The blue bar represents the number of patients with that particular symptom complex, whilst the yellow bar indicates the number of patients without it. The predominant symptoms were storage lower urinary tract symptoms followed by voiding symptoms. These were present in 49% and 36% of the cohort respectively. This pie chart shows the number of patients with neurogenic lower urinary tract symptoms, represented by the yellow slice, which represents 28% of the cohort, or 30 patients. This pie chart represents the number of patients who were given an information leaflet prior to the procedure. 85 of the 104 patients reported that they received an information leaflet. Six patients denied receiving a leaflet, whilst 13 did not answer the question. This gives the proportion of 82% who had confirmed that they received a leaflet. The remaining patient reported measures are summarized in this bar chart. The x-axis represents the outcome measures, whilst the y-axis represents the numerical rating scores. The numerical rating score were between 1 and 5, with 1 representing low levels and 5 representing high levels of each individual patient reported measure. The average scores are the grey bars, whilst the median scores are the blue bars. As you can see, anxiety levels were higher slightly before the procedure as opposed to during the procedure. This is a statistically diff significant difference. Patients reported scores of 2 out of 5 for both pain and levels of embarrassment. Overall satisfaction with the procedure was high at 5 out of 5 on the numerical rating score. The vast majority of patients, 99 out of 104 to be exact, reported a willingness to have the test again. Only two said they would not, whilst three did not answer the question. A similarly large proportion would recommend the units they had the test in to others. Overall, our results suggest that patient satisfaction with urodynamics is high in the UK. This has subsequently resulted in a large proportion of patients being willing to undergo the test again, if clinically necessary, as well as being complimentary about the unit the procedure was carried out in. There was a small but significant reduction in anxiety during the procedure. In conclusion, we have shown that patients in the UK are satisfied with the urodynamic service they receive. Moderate levels of pre-procedure anxiety fall to mild levels during the procedure. This may be due to a number of factors, however, the ability of the performing team to make the patient comfortable cannot be ignored. Whilst 82% of patients receiving information leaves that is good, our feeling is that there is scope to improve on this.
Thank you.